everyone it's bonnie happy saturday i am back i do not have a bag of bath and body works with me oh my goodness i ended up doing an online order today i had so much uh good intention of going into the store today and then i woke up this morning our power was out for a little bit it was raining and I am so, like, not caught up on my house right now. Um, you know, if you have kids and they're in school activities and it's coming to, like, the end of an activity, my daughter's in theater, we have been out, like, every night. We've been running around, um, just crazy. And I looked around my house and I'm like, you know what? I am staying home this weekend and I'm going to just organize and get my house in order. I want to do my laundry. I want to get caught up on everything. So that is my plan. So I woke up this morning. I placed my soap order. Oh my gosh. I got like, I think like 22 soaps. <laughs> I'm like, I needed a lot of soap. I am in desperate need of soap. So my order is on the way. I'm super excited. And I got to stay home. Sometimes you just want to stay home. So walking around the house and I find this box on my shelf. Check it out. <laughs> like, what's in the box? <laughs> I always do this. I always buy these boxes, which is a good idea, by the way. But the problem is, um, sometimes they become like a catch-all. And what I'm trying to do is like have a box for pocket bags, have a box for car fragrance, have a box for lip gloss. You know, like I want to have a box for everything. So I opened up this box and went, wow. There's a lot of stuff in this box that doesn't really like go together. So I was going to kind of show you it's in my catch-all box here. And uh, I think we need to do some organizing. So you know what I have a lot of? I have a lot of uh, car fragrance uh, clips. I have Halloween. <laughs> I can't decide. I think what I'm going to do is buy some more of those because, you know, Halloween boxes are going to be out soon. You know Halloween at Joanne and Michael's is going to be coming out any day now. I think I want to just keep, like, one Halloween box for, like, um, the little things. So I think I'm going to do that. So I have these. These are super cute, by the way. I'm like, I'm going to pull those out. Uh, I have this one, which is just, like, a gemstone. Um... I have some Mary Cookie uh, hand cream in here. Again, I used to have all my hand cream in one box. I got to do that again. Uh, I have a Trader Joe's cranberry orange. I'm just going to, I didn't like the smell of this. I'm just going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of that. Sometimes you just got to get rid of stuff. Um, I have more car fragrance. Check it out. Look at these. These are cute. I remember those. Uh, I have a little pocket bag holder. Uh, with the sparkly stuff. Um, I have a Lush hair bar. I don't even know what this one is. It was, I think, from Valentine's Day? It smells good. This is going in the shower. I'm going to use that. I like to do that to kind of... Um, usually the Lush hair bars are good because they kind of um, like just refresh your hair a little bit. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use that. I'm going to use that. What else do I got in here? I have a, oh, hot cocoa and cream, uh, half empty lip gloss. Usually I get rid of my half empty lip glosses, but sometimes I save them. I don't like using lip gloss if it's like really old, uh, but I will save them sometimes to show you guys the packaging. So I might create a little box for that. Uh, car fragrance. Uh, Car fragrance. How cute is that? Christmas. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're coming into Christmas and Halloween sooner than we think. Oh, the sun is shining now. Um, look at this. Uh, Christmas. That's the other thing I need to do. I need to go outside and um, rake my leaves. Uh, look at this. This is so pretty butterfly. So we had a fence replaced in front of our house and there's like dead leaves everywhere and it looks awful. So I want to, I want to do that. Look at this pumpkin. Check that out. Um, I feel like this is kind of like my equivalent of spring cleaning. I need to do some spring cleaning. Look, I have a purple butterfly too. I didn't even know I had these. I think I'm going to pop one of these in my car. <laughs> like, I need to do that. I have a frosted icing uh, lip gloss here. Is this the one? No, this is the clear formula. Uh, the other day, oh, this is the one. Um, I was talking about the different lip, gl lip glosses 
I don't know if you can see in my hand. Uh, this is one that's like a pearlized one. Oh, that smells good. <laughs> it smells like hot chocolate. Um, but the pearlized one is a little bit different than, um, you know, the, the slick one that's clear. So usually around the holidays, we get those. Oh my gosh. I have so many pocket bags in here. You guys, I have, uh, I have girlfriend. I have uh, Mango Mai Tai. I'm going to stick a couple of these in my purse. Oh, Enchanted Candy Potion. I love this one as a hand sanitizer. That's going in my purse. Um, let's see. I have Fiji White Sands. These are all from last year. I've not bought that many hand sanitizers, by the way. Hibiscus Paradise. I didn't even like that one. Uh, but I think I'm going to stick all these in. I have a bin just for hand sanitizer. Why these are in the catch-all, I have no idea. Uh, Vanilla Bean Noel. I have, oh, Wicked Apple. That's a good one. Wicked Apple, Ghoul Friend, and more Ghoul Friend. <laughs> and then I have a uh, Twisted Peppermint. Oh, oh, that smells good. Okay. <laughs> I have some bar soap in here, too. Oh, my God. There's a lot of stuff in here. So I have a lot of hand cream. I've kind of stopped buying hand cream uh, because they've gotten really pricey. I have, oh, these are old. I have a Twisted Peppermint. Um, I used to save hand cream, and now I'm like, you know what? It's so pricey. Oh, I have a hot cocoa and cream. I might keep this one out, actually. I like the hot cocoa and cream, but we don't have that now. Uh, Black Cherry Merlot. That's a good one, too. Uh, oh, Strawberry Pound Cake. I'm going to keep that one out, too. Keep that one out. Those are going right in my purse. Coconut Milk. Um, the hand cream tends to last, oops, I just dropped one, uh, quite a while, I'll have to say. Um, Snow Kiss Citrus. Remember that one? Uh, let's see. Dahlia. Especially if you haven't used them, they last forever. Oh, another strawberry pound cake. Look at that. And then I've got, um, some 4th of July. I've got wait, white tea and sage. I've got, oh, very cookie. And now I've got, uh, this is, um, this has got to be, uh, waterfall lemonade. Oh, that's interesting. I think there's firecracker pop. It's watermelon lemonade. That's interesting. And a lot of these, I probably haven't used them, which is good because, like I said, they'll last. I got to gang them. And then I also have, this is old, uh, Winter Candy Apple. Uh, this is probably one of the oldest ones. But look, it's, it's perfectly, you know, I mean, hand cream does not go bad. I don't know what the formula, oh, that smells good. Isn't it weird to smell winter candy apple? <laughs> it's not Christmas. You're like, oh my gosh, it's winter candy apple. Um, I have some Duke Cannon soap in here. <laughs> the lump of coal. I remember buying this last year. Did I even review this? I thought I did. I like Duke Cannon. Uh, these are huge. I don't know. They're kind of fun. Um, and oh my gosh, look at all the soap in here. Usually what I do around the holidays is I'll buy soap from Home Goods, and I must have forgot I put these in here. I might pull a couple of these out because I don't have any peppermint soap right now. Uh, peppermint. Uh, I have sparkling cranberry. Oh my gosh. Oh, that actually smells really good. Um, I've got, uh... What is this? I don't even say what it is. Oh, fresh vanilla snow. Oh, these are good. These are like three bucks at Home Goods. I love these soaps. Uh, and I usually buy them at Christmas. Oh my gosh, how cute. Look at how cute this is. Winterberry. Um, and then I usually oops, gift them off. Um, these are old though, I think. That's okay though. Uh, candy cane. Oh, that smells good. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm going to open this one up. And like, I'm just going to... I'm just gonna rip this. I'm just gonna rip it open, you guys. I love this soap. This is um, okay. oh, this one was four ninety nine. Okay, I'm just I'm I'm putting this in the bathroom like right now. <laughs> I want some of this soap, except it won't come out. Why won't it come out? There we go. Okay, we have it. Oh, this smells so good. Uh, this is the triple milled soap. Um, I don't know who made this one. But these are nice. I'll have to say, I love the home goods soap. Oh, it's Savan. Look at that. Look at, I, you know, this is what I was talking about, you guys. So, you know, the um, Bath and Body Works bar soaps, obviously, you know, they're smaller. There's something luxury about like a really big bar of soap. I wish Bath and Body Works did them in this size. And you know what else I wish? And I don't know why. I wish they would stamp um, Bath and Body Works on the front because you know what? 
it just like adds this like magical element to it. I can't imagine it's that expensive to stamp the soap. Um, but I think people would really, really like it. I know as you wash, you know, this it comes off, but it's just something magical when you open a bar of soap and there's like a stamp on it. So that's my suggestion for Bath and Body Works. I'm putting this in the bathroom. Okay. I have a oh peppermint bark. Talk about peppermint bark. <gasps> Oh, that smells good too. Yeah, see, it says soap. I don't know. It's so it's funny because Bath and Body Works soap bars are just so plain. It's kind of interesting. And then I have a lot of Dr. Squatch in here. So I like Dr. Squatch. I gotta say, I really do. I used to get every time um somebody used my referral link, I would get like a bunch of free bars of soap. I like their Star Wars stuff. The problem is I've kind of like switched over completely to the Bath and Body Works soap bars. And you know, at holidays, I use the ones from Home Goods, And then my husband always uses the Dirty Spring Wash. So I just had too much Dr. Squatch soap. However, if you're looking for a really nice um, soap company uh, that's unisex, I would try Dr. Squatch. I have Drunken Pumpkin. <laughs> I didn't even know I had all these in here. Oh, Pine Tar. Pine Tar is amazing. Uh, natural Ingredients, uh, Cold Press. These are really nice. Um, I'm going to stick one of these in the bathroom. I haven't used my Dr. Squatch in a long time. And now they're smelling so good. They're very natural. Look at these. These are gorgeous. I should, I should order a couple things from Dr. Squatch. Um, like I said, they just haven't really been on my radar lately, uh, just because I review so much other stuff. But, uh, don't forget to check out Dr. Squatch. Uh, let me look at this Mars bar. Look at this. Look at this. This is so cool. Isn't this neat? And... They have the most amazing Star Wars set. Like, if you're looking for a gift for someone, um, check out the Star Wars sets. They're, they're gorgeous. And if you're a Star Wars fan, honestly, um, they're really quality. They're awesome. Look at these. Oh, look at these. Okay. I'm having too much fun, you guys. You know, it's funny because sometimes when I start cleaning, I start, like, going through my stuff. And then, like, I'm doing less cleaning and more just, like, going, oh, this is fun to smell. So I think this current box that I have down here is only going to be my soap box. And I have some Bath and Body Works soap that I actually want to put in here. So uh, I'm just going to organize this. This is going to be only for soap. And now I have to find a home uh, for the rest of my stuff. So anyway, I'm going to go back to cleaning. I will probably be back on to do one more video later today. But I am in a cleaning mood today. Don't forget to check out the Bath & Body Works sub sale today, $2.99. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.